So you have to have each one of the elements of the equation defined so that you can give them the partial, uh, the, the osmotic pressure in a given temperature, in a given concentration, in a given amount of the solution, right? At the end of the day, that value is measured in atmosphere. Unfortunately, I've seen uh, many, uh, some of the uh, younger and even some of the older bio teachers using the wrong terminology, wrong measures uh, as they introduce their lecture. And they say, oh, what if the osmotic pressure is 30%? <laughs> pressure is not measured in percentage. That's funny. This is like you asking me, how tall are you? And I'm going to tell you, well, I'm 120 kilogram. Excuse me, I'm asking you, how tall are you? Oh, oh I meant uh, 300 uh, uh, kilometer. The unit is really important. You have to use the right unit. You cannot just say any numbers, right? And, and say percentage. Percentage means nothing in, uh, in pressure, unless you're talking about two solutions coming together and what's the relative, relative pressure between one and another. Then in this case, you can use percentage. But pressure is measured in atmosphere. In atmosphere, right? So be careful, students and teachers alike. When you teach something, right? When you teach your student to use a phrase, right? Pressure is not expressed in percentages. Pressure is not expressed as grams per mils. It's not expressed in kelvins. It's expressed in atmosphere. Or pascals, right? Or in bar, or in millimeters of mercury, if you were talking about gas or fluid, right? Uh, so it's a unit of pressure, right? It is commonly used to express atmospheric pressure. So I'm giving you some definitions here because unfortunately, unfortunately, students and even teachers alike, they're using the wrong terminology. And the reason why, right, I started giving some lectures in biology, both in Arabic and in English, because I want to improve, right, and correct many of the falsehood in the material introduced to you. So uh, teacher, if you are hearing me, Please, 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 please be careful for what measure are you using. Okay, don't tell me that I weight two meter. I don't, right? I'm measured in either kilograms, right? Or in grams or in micrograms or in a ton, right? If you're big and things like that. So these are the right units. Don't use the wrong units to describe things that are not measured in these units. Students, be careful. Units are important, right? Atmosphere, liter, right? Because if I change any one of them, the entire equation collapses. You're talking wrong. You're not talking science. You're talking gibberish. You're talking garbage. You're talking trash, rubbish. You're not talking science. So talk science. Talk science.